Hi guys, welcome to another video from little to simple. Unless you were living under a rock for the last two years, the odds are that you would have heard about the semiconductor chip shortage that affected every industry from electronics to automobiles. This chip shortage was a result of the economic shutdown in 2020 due to COVID-19 pandemic which resulted in complete shutdown of all factories including the ones that produce semiconductor chips. While every other person on YouTube gets their narrative well until this point, most people fail to explain why 3 months of complete lockdown or economic shutdown resulted in over 18 months long semiconductor chip shortage which had detrimental effects on countless industries that relied on these chips. Well, we will answer this exact question in this video, so sit back, relax and enjoy the video. The Basics There is a very good chance that most of you might have never seen a semiconductor chip, but we can say it with certainty that almost all of you use them on an everyday basis. In fact, the very device on which you are watching this video runs on a semiconductor chip. Even if you do not use a smartphone or a tablet, do not think that you don't use the semiconductor chips. Every electronic appliance in your home to your vehicle runs on semiconductor chips. The Process the typical semiconductor chip manufacturing process involves following steps and in this exact order. Why the emphasis on the order? Well, you will understand that later in this video. It starts with design and mass generation and is followed by wafer fabrication, photolithography, etching, doping, deposition, annealing, chemical mechanical polishing, metrology and inspection, packaging and testing, and quality control. While we can try to explain each of these steps from a technical point of view, it will accomplish nothing other than completely boring you guys. So here is an oversimplified explanation about these steps. Imagine making a very tiny and super special puzzle for an electronic toy. Well, here's how it's done. Design and mass generation. First, we draw a picture of the puzzle we want on a computer. Then we make a special stencil to help us copy the picture onto the puzzle later. Wafer fabrication. We take a small shiny plate and make it smooth and clean. This plate will be a puzzle base. Photolithography. Next, Next, we use a special stencil and a bright light to draw the picture from the computer onto the shiny plate. It's like tracing the picture onto the puzzle base. Etching. Now, we use a special tool to remove the extra parts from the picture we drew. This makes the puzzle pieces visible. Doping. We sprinkle magic dust in some areas of the picture to make them do special things, like making them colorful or helping them remember things. Deposition. We add thin layers of special materials on top of the picture. These layers help make our puzzle pieces work together. Annealing. We use a secret oven to heat the puzzle gently so it becomes strong. Chemical mechanical polishing. We gently rub the surface to make it smooth and clean. Metrology and inspection. We check if our puzzle looks perfect and everything is in the right place. If anything is not right, we fix it. Packaging. We carefully cut the big puzzle into smaller pieces and put each one in its own special box. Testing and quality control. Before we give the puzzle to our friends, we make sure that they are all working perfectly. If any puzzle piece is broken, we replace it with a new one. And there we have it. Our tiny magical puzzle is ready to power our cool electronic toy. Because it's hard to talk about so many individual steps, generally all steps discussed above are broadly categorized into three stages of semiconductor chip production. Stage 1. Design and Preparation This stage involves designing the chip layout using computer-aided design tools and preparing the mass required for the photolithography process. Stage 2. Wafer Processing In this phase, the silicon wafers undergo several critical steps such as photolithography, etching, doping, deposition, annealing, and chemical mechanical polishing. These steps create the circuit patterns and structures on the wafer. Stage 3. Packaging and Testing After processing the wafer, it is cut into individual chips and each chip is placed in its final package. The chips are then tested thoroughly to ensure they function correctly and meet quality standards. While this high level overview simplifies the process, it still captures the essential stages involved in semiconductor chip manufacturing. The actual fabrication process is much more intricate and involves numerous sub-steps and additional complexities. The condensed version helps provide a general
general understanding of how semiconductor chips are made without delving into the intricate details of each specific fabrication step. The first two stages mentioned above can take several months each to complete while at this third stage could be completed in just a few weeks. It is the time taken by the first two stages that limits the number of new processes launched by most companies to one per year. Don't believe us? Think about the time gap between the launch of Apple's M1 and M2 chips or the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 and Gen 2 chips or the subsequent generations of Intel's i-series process. Companies that we just mentioned only handle the chip design part which is a part of the first stage and these companies mostly outsource the second and third stage work to other companies. The most popular among them are Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, commonly referred to as TSMC and Samsung Foundry. And yes, Samsung's chip business is much larger than their phone or appliance business. By now, you might be wondering about where is that part of the video where we actually discuss about the reason for the prolonged chip shortage. You can take a breather now as we are finally there and sorry for burdening you with all this information so far, but it would have been very difficult for you guys to understand the actual reasons for the prolonged chip shortage without understanding the basics first. Hence, the unasked for teaching about the basics of the chip industry, pun intended. And here are the reasons you have been eagerly waiting for. The linearity. The semiconductor chip production process is linear, which means that all the steps mentioned above can only be carried out one after the other, and it is not possible to complete those steps simultaneously or in any other order other than linearly. As a result of this, there is no way to reduce the time required to complete each step in semiconductor chip production. This linearity in the production process compounds the time required to produce the semiconductor chip. By now, you might be wondering about exactly why or how does linearity increases the production time. Well, that's because of the on-demand manufacturing model that the chip manufacturing industry operates under. On-demand manufacturing Traditionally, all the companies that require semiconductor chips for manufacturing their products place their order for chips on demand. In simple terms, they roughly calculated the anticipated demand for their products in the next one year and placed orders for the required number of chips based on calculation. As a result of this, most chip companies worked on clock as they got their orders almost a year in advance. The COVID lockdown completely messed up this demand predictability due to two different reasons. First was due to the imposed lockdown which forced the semiconductor chip manufacturing plants to shut down for almost a quarter and the second was the market shift which no one anticipated which turned the chip industry on its head. The market shift. Once the lockdowns ended, the chip manufacturers went ahead with working on and delivering their open order. But to their surprise, most companies that were into computing, such as the companies manufacturing productivity gadgets, such as laptop and data center hardware manufacturers, all of a sudden wanted to drastically increase their chip order sizes due to the increased demand for their product due to the shift to remote work. But since the entire chip manufacturing industry was built on predictable demand, it was very difficult if not impossible for chip manufacturers to meet this sudden increase in demand and one way in which the chip manufacturers tried to overcome this problem and meet this sudden increase in demand for mobile, laptop and data center processors was by reducing the production of chips used in industries such as automobile, home appliances and game consoles and divert those resources to produce chips for laptops and data centers. This created extreme chip shortage in the so-called neglected industries such as automobile and this explains why there was a sudden impact on the automobile production or why it was next to impossible to get your hands on PlayStation 5 around that time. In fact, if you look up any articles about chip shortage that were published in 2020 and 2021, most of them discuss about the chip shortage from the perspective of the automobile industry or from the perspective of gaming industry in some cases. Since this mass shift to remote work was sudden, unexpected and was at a scale never imagined, it took some time for the chip manufacturer to meet the excess demand from the companies in the remote workspace and in about 18 months, remote work became a norm and the demand from remote work became predictable and the chip manufacturing industry returned to their normal ways of operation and the chip shortage ended. The common doubt 
this point, you guys might be wondering about why did the chip manufacturing companies divert their production capacity from automobiles and gaming chips for the production of computer processors instead of building new factories to increase the production capacity? Well, the simple answer is that the chip companies in a kind of sort of way knew that the spike in demand for computer processors was only going to be temporary and they were indeed correct. By late 2022, all the excess demand was served for and most chip manufacturers were working hard to scale down chip production in their factory and were laying off employees. Hope you got all the answers you were expecting from this video and about the infamous semiconductor chip shortage that shook the world for a while. If you found this video to be interesting, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for more content that delves into the intersection of finance and technology. Until next time, stay curious and keep venturing into the unexplored.